Hi guys. Today's nine minute nine minutes motivation. I want to share with you something that really demotivates people. And what you should do. And I think it's really, really, very simple. But I think we just miss it for very simple, simple reasons. Any very obvious reasons. I finished my engineering in 1992, and as I was in the last semester, that is the fourth year of my engineering, I had this brilliant idea. Uh, every engineering college, uh, at the end of the year, you have to submit a report. You have to take a project and make a report out of it, and uh, that report will be one given to the college where you're studying, one for the university. Another for yourself. The three copies you have to make. So every stream, from civil to mechanical to electronics to computers to metallurgy to or, or whatever fields are there in that college, you have to make reports. So which means in every classroom, if there are fifty students and there are almost six to seven streams of engineering, so you have like three fifty students into three copies of project report. So as I was doing the project report, the project did not excite me, but the project report, the process of those, you know. Getting those. I'm talking about 1992. So that time there were like no computers. There were like electronic typewriters were there, and or or the manual typewriters were there. So we had to take the printout from the electronic typewriters and bind it, and there will be spiral binding, hard binding, comb binding. So I thought it's such an amazing thing that so many engineering colleges are there across the city where I live. Why not to start a business where I will make the project report for everybody? Pick up from the college, drop back to the, the to the students, and all that things which we used to do, running around to the typing institutions or to those electronic typewriters, just do the basic work. And I made a fabulous business plan. And I'm talking about 1992. As per my business plan, I would have earned 25,000 rupees per month, which was a big thing because my background is not from business. My dad was a driver. My mom was a Pure education department, so basically service class mentality. So for me, it was like a breakthrough thought process. So I finished my engineering, I made the plan, everything. My younger brother was studying in studying architecture. I think I was in third year, two years younger to me. Architecture used to be five years course. Came back to Pune, and one of those nights when I felt I'm ready to make the presentation, make my mom and my brother sit and explain the entire business concept. That how much I will be able to earn, and uh, very basic investment will be there to take two typewriters to people who will come and do typing. That is what I employ, and I can do it in my home also. And I will keep walking, traveling around, doing marketing. After making the presentation, I felt they will say, "What a breakthrough! Now we will become rich. We will have money. Now we don't have to struggle about the entire thing." Shock of all my shocks in my life. Next one and half years, my mom and my brother almost brainwashed me, saying that it is useless to do business. What will happen if you lose in the business? What will happen? Then the doom gaya to ye and that we are supposed to be service class people. We should pick up a job, and there is security for this and that and that. I was shocked to the core because I thought it would be a magical thing that they will think they have a son who is going to really make a breakthrough for the family. and we will see money after after years and years of hard work of the entire family and i was first time in my life i never felt so demotivated the way i felt because my own people rejected the whole idea not the idea idea of me becoming a businessman pehle dhanda shuru hone ke pehle dubo diya i was so demotivated to the point i really felt depressed for some time i went for a walk in the night Hours together, I was outside. I just couldn't believe that. And eventually, I picked up a job for six hundred rupees per month, nineteen ninety-two. Twenty-five thousand rupees per month was my business plan, and I was earning in reality six hundred rupees. I was working from eight o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock in the night in a workshop, and it was bad. Seven years later, not seven years, five years later, somewhere. my family started understanding i was made for business entrepreneurs my intent i had <clears throat> then i picked up business then i started doing lot of work and today i have my own set of organizations my own ent- enterprises college trading institutions lot of things i do but that day very important lesson i learned 
when i look back and today i tell this to all my students there is college or outside never share your dreams with somebody who don't understand those dreams or who have never achieved their own dreams at that time never do even if they are your they are your parents after that i never discuss any of my business ideas or models with my any of the family members because i you know they have never done business so they don't understand the nuances of the business so how are they going to appreciate the idea or how are they going to recognize the idea or how are going to motivate me or going to support me not possible because they only know business may also sense there is there can be losses in the business and they don't want this and the very intentions were right but the way it was been put across is very 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 depressing and demotivating so today also i only share my vision and idea with whom i know <clears throat> they will be able to give me right feedbacks because they have walked that path you cannot so when i go to nature and when i want to jump into the wa- uh, lakes or jump into the waterfalls unknown waterfalls lot of them who are with me hold themselves back and say what are you doing i said they will understand they will understand my courage my faith they will understand that this path what i'm they are watching right now i have walked it multiple times for last 8 years in my life so i know what it is never ever share your dreams your vision your goals with those people who themselves have not achieved that goal or that vision they never had only strength only we can understand only strength can understand strength weakness can never understand strength i'm not saying that they are weak i'm saying that if they have not walked that path how can you judge a path which you have never walked and i always say that for example another example i'll give a lot of times what happens is people who are into accounts especially to those practicing chartered accountancy so the whole mindset is to save the whole mindset is to avoid expenditure so they always have been trained and worked and practiced to only save taxes or save money for the organization or to only focus on expenditure expend cut down the expenditure but when an entrepreneur has to start something his mindset should be that of investment so that they think about return on investment accountants they will think about expenditure how to so when you go and discuss an idea with ca he only will tell about how it is not possible or i am not saying all the ca but my experience with most of them has been they always do so much of deliberation on that project which is actually good, nothing wrong but sometimes banks accounts people cas go by the past track record an entrepreneur a visionary a dreamer go with the future promises somebody who is driven by future they go and share the dream with somebody who is past oriented this is because of that this is the nature of their job how it is going to be complementing my dear friends if you have a vision you have a dream it's okay to fail sometimes to learn lessons and eventually succeed but if you don't want to feel demotivated never ever discuss share your vision your dreams your goals with somebody who themselves have never seen that kind of quantum of goals or visions or your dreams they will never be able to understand it not that they will want to stand by you but they just can't relate with it always go and share your dreams with those people who themselves have achieved their dreams fulfill their dreams reach heights in life and become somebody in life you will be encouraged and motivated and not demotivated with that belief that such a beautiful day so my mind's motivation and my name is always inspired by life and sponsored by human beings and i give it to my life is always beautiful the same top of all because i work as worship and believe that such a beautiful day.